What's up guys, it's uh, Jake here, this is the first video I'm making um, for the channel, Minecraft Server Tutorials. Uh, this will be basically showing you a bunch of plugins and how to configure them and install them for Bucket. Uh, there will be links in the description on every video. Um, and this is just going to be uh, YouTube dedicated just to telling you how to install and use server plugins. If you have any questions, uh, just message me and if you need to, um, if you have any uh, like ideas or want me to do a how to install them on a certain plug and just message me oh uh, the first one I'm going to be doing is lock it um this will be showing you how you unlock or how you lock your uh, chest in minecraft it's just a little private system it's very easy to install and just thought I'd do this for the first one so just want to download the latest uh sorry about that <laughs> you want to download the latest jar and then saved in your plugins directory uh, for your server you close that now before I start the server which is down there um okay so these are the plugins are com they're com bleh, conflicting plugins uh, the only one that they know of is chess shop and then sign editors uh, basically you just put private like that on a sign and then it will private um, whoever like whoever you have on the list it works with doors uh, chests dispensers furnaces sorry I forgot what those are called for a second now if you have permissions you can enable like which ones can use them which can snoop around in them otherwise it's just default for op uh, and then these are just all the other information that if you want you can have um so let's get started let's start the server and just type stop and if you, you should have a lock it uh job uh, lock it folder and then just open up uh, I prefer using notepad plus plus okay so enable message user that will just like if you want it to since you when you make one it'll say like a message to you if you want to enable that you can put true um if you want to enable it to ops uh then you can put false i leave it at false otherwise you'll get spammed um enable message admin will just enable them when like somebody breaks a chest enable message help uh, i'll help them or whatever whenever they type slash help or slash lock at the help i don't know exactly the command i forget it um if you want to do explosion protect so if they can do it with tnt so I'll put that to true if you want them to rotate the chests if you enable permissions uh, if you want to be able to if you want them to be able to protect doors trap doors if you want admins to be able to snoop and stuff and if you want to enable color tags and broadcast and that would just that's basically all that save that and set the server back up And I will open up my Minecraft right now and go into it. Now it should start recording my Minecraft. Or not, but whatever, it's recording it. So go to multiplayer. I'll just join it like that. Okay, so I am in it and let's see. Let's spot my Yeah, um, let me out myself real quick. Okay, now let's see if I can spawn it. There's no item ID called that. Whatever. I forget, I'm not using the essentials. Uh, so I have to do all the default stuff and there's a sign so that's if you want to enable it and there's a sign so you just right click here and it will automatically go on and then basically that is protected uh, from anybody on the server now you say now it just said sign select use slash lock it line number text to edit like the lines so let's do that Um, let's do, let's do the third line, and let's do 
say his name is Michael. And there you go. Third line, it adds the player and Michael. Um, and I'll simply to destroy it, or you just destroy the sign on the front, but other people won't be able to destroy that, so, um, so you, you're all good. Uh, there is another plugin, which is basically LWC, which is good, uh, which is the same thing, basically, um, but this is just basically much easier. There's no database. It's just, it's, I like it a lot. It's just really easy. Um, it's not too hard to set up. So, uh, thank you for the first video, or... Well, yeah, I kind of like that. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching if you watched the first video. And hopefully you'll stick around to see more server tutorials. And I'll uh, see you later.